Have you actually just woken up? <sighs> yeah. What's the issue, man? Well, nothing. I just never understood how you can sleep until lunchtime. Lunchtime? Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, furlough life has got my body clock battered, bruv. Fair play for keeping a routine in lockdown, man. Fair play. Yeah, sort of. Anyway, you still living the life of Riley? Hey, not bad choice, but... Yeah. Honestly, I don't know how people get through the day without games consoles, you know? OK, listen. Um, I've got some big news. Go on, then. I joined a dating app. No way! <laughs> Hey, this is huge, bro. Listen, I was all alone in my <laughs> flat. With... <laughs> I was all alone in the flat with nothing else to do, and I just thought, why not? You know what? I'm hearing that digital dating is popping off during lockdown, you know? Have you got any video dates yet? No, I literally just joined. OK, hey, Vin, hey, Vin, seriously, yeah? No joke. Your profile needs to be on point, yeah? And then, when you're looking at yes. these girls' profiles, <laughs> there's a few things you need to watch out for. You need to look at the angles that they're using to take the pictures and that, yeah? Because they're, they're going to deceive you. Callum, I have I have talked to girls before. I do understand what uh, you I have talked to girls before. OK. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. I just got a notification. Uh, no way. It looks like I've got beginner's luck. Oh, you sexy. Bastard, bruv. Yes, yes. I've <laughs> got some matches. All right, man, let me know how it goes, bro. Peace. All right, cool, man. Bye-bye. Oh, this guy's looking pen, bro. Tasty. I've got three video dates scheduled back to back. OK, show off. No, 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 not really. I've, I've never been on a digital date before. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, just treat it like a real life date, I guess. You know, People seem to be really enjoying them as well. OK, and is this a good setup? I've got this right. Uh, you know what? I don't think you should have the bed in the back like that, man. It sends out the wrong message. OK, I'm definitely moving into the living room. OK. Oh, trying to look like a slut. Ugh. Oh. Oh, Vinny. my intention. Vinny, we've spoken about this. It's, it's, it's just wrong, man. It's wrong. <laughs> now, you want to find a spot where the natural light is hitting your face, kind of like it's hitting mine and making me look so goddamn beautiful. And also, what you want is eye level. Set the camera to eye level, bro. Not low angle or high angle. They are not flattering. OK, I think this is a good spot. Uh, let's get that fireplace yeah. looking nice in the back. OK, maybe have a couple more things. I really am so handsome. Oh, yeah, OK, I've got like, a trophy from when I was a kid. Ah, yeah, show her that you're a winner. Yeah, and culture, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> OK. OK, I think we're... I think we're ready. Oh, should I drink? It is your call entirely, mate. Oh, the worst thing, though, is if you're drinking and the other person isn't. I'm so nervous. Um, I need some beers. Get some beers! Go on, then. OK. Cheers. Cheers. OK, wish me luck, yeah? I hope it goes terribly. Honestly, you are the bestest friend I've ever had. No, I'm joking. Listen, listen. You are going to smash this date, yeah? And you jump on all confident like, and you say her first name straight away. Straight away. Straight in. Smiling. Show them all your teeth. OK. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Show them all the teeth. Oh, my goodness. OK, I think the first one's about to start. Hey, go well, lad. OK. All right, cool. Listen, I'll, uh, I'll debrief you after. I'll let you know how it goes. Peace, boy. All right, peace. I'm going to click on this. OK, bye. Cool. Hello, Vinny. Oh, hi. Hi, so I'm so sorry. You weren't waiting long, were you? No, not too long. 
you're drinking. Uh, yeah. Is that cool? Okay. No. Yeah, it's all good. I just, I just wasn't sure if it was a good look for me. Do you mind if I go and grab one? Oh no, no. Please be my guest. I don't want to be the only one drinking. So. Okay. I'll probably embarrass myself. <laughs> Okay, we've got the same beer. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to copy you. I'm just. You sure? I'm sure. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Of course. Nice to meet you. Nice to uh, meet you as well. I'm gonna get very drunk very quickly. I feel. I'm just gonna put this down. <sighs> so, Vinny, am I your first digital date in this new normal we're living through? Put me under the spotlight already. That's a tough question to open up with. Um... Hard. Just would think it would be like, yeah, no. Uh, yes. Yes, you are, actually. Oh, that's cute. We're each other's firsts. That can, uh, that can cut both ways. Very true. So, on your profile, it said your industry was other. I was just wondering what you do. Yeah, I'm in corporate law. Um, wow, okay. A little bit shocked that they didn't have a litigation option. I'll, I'll send them some feedback. Sure. I'm a little bit extra like that. So, um, I mean, I presume you've been busy during lockdown. Yeah, apparently the world never stops needing legal advice. Um, I've just been made partner at my firm. So it's a whole new step up trying to make relationships with the clients and video calls are just no way to do it. You're a partner already. That's, that's pretty amazing considering you're only 27. Yeah, it's not very polite to remind a woman of her age. I, I'm, so, uh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. It was nothing about your age. It was more I'm just only, about that you... I'm only putting on the leg. You are a little bit younger than what I would normally go for, though. Really? Hmm. I guess, why did you go for me, then? We share similar interests, it looks like. Um, when I get time off, I love live music, travelling, eating. Emphasis on eating. Yeah, big emphasis, big foodie here, and a big share of food. I'm one of those people that when they go to a restaurant, I just unashamedly order everything off the menu, starters, mains, desserts, everything. And you're a big sharer as well, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I just feel like that's part of eating. It's like a social thing. I really hope you're on the same page as me. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm on exactly the same page. Like, I'm sold. I have no issue at all with scoffing my face at any time of the day. Okay, phew. That could have been really awkward. So what about your skills in the kitchen? Oh. I obviously can cook up a storm. Can you? But it's always nice when a guy knows his way around a stove. Okay. Okay. You're gonna say something to reassure me here? Okay, well, then this is great because I'm always in the kitchen. And lockdown just has me experimenting with so many different dishes right now. Oh, elaborate, please. Okay, so the other day I made some really nice Korean-style beef tacos. Wow. Um, salmon teriyaki. Oh my god. Um, yesterday I made an apple strudel and I made the puff pastry from scratch. Oh my god, I can't do that. Yeah? You've actually just entered my heart via my stomach. <sighs> And breathe. Okay, cool. I'm swooning. Yeah, I'll have to cook for you sometime. Okay, sounds good. I'd really like to know how come you're single. Your guess is as good as mine. I'm gonna fall back on that old cliche that I haven't met the right person yet. What about you? No, no listen, cliches are often true. Right, I'm a big defender of cliches. Anyway, stop avoiding the question. Okay. <laughs> Tell me the answer. What's your relationship history? Okay. You can be honest. Yeah, well, I, listen, I've been single for a while. Okay, if I'm honest, I haven't actually been in anything meaningful for a long time. Interesting. So, are you looking for something meaningful on here? What, what exactly are you looking for? Oh, that's a big question. That is a big question. It's a big question. It's an important question. No, I know. So you're always hoping that the other person is on the same page, but I'm, I'm, I'm looking to be in a relationship, yeah. I mean, these days I'm pretty set on that, and when I meet the right women, yeah, I'm just programmed that way, I guess. Okay, I'm the same. I just don't bother wasting my time on things I'm not serious about. Okay, good, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that we... We're on the same, the same page. Story. Yeah, 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 completely. Okay. 
So, Vinny, sorry, my schedule is just a little bit crazy at the moment and um, I kind of need to go soon. Oh. Is there anything else you fancy asking me? Oh, that's such a shame. Um, okay. You've got my full attention though, for a few more minutes. So think wisely. Okay. Any burning questions? Well, yeah, okay, yeah. Who's stealing you away from me? Um, my best friend Jess, actually. It's her birthday and we're doing like a video party because we can't meet each other in person, obviously. Okay, I can't really argue with that. That sounds cool. Jess, I love her. Yeah, we're having a 1920s themed party. That sounds interesting, 1920s. Yeah, I don't know if you know much about that era, but it's literally my favorite. I have an obsession. The 20s? Mm hmm. You're talking to me about the 1920s, the roaring 20s. Yeah, that's Gatsby, the one. Mm -hmm. Prohibition, mm -hmm. undercuts. I literally love that era. Yeah, and the music, Bing Crosby, Louis oh, Armstrong. I know, it's going to be uh, very entertaining, dressing up and drinking champagne. You're literally <laughs> making me want to do that. Sorry, babes, it's exclusive. Well, I'm gonna go now. Sorry if I was a bit outspoken, that's just me. No, it's, just, it's cool. It's just, I really know who I am and what I want and I just don't wanna waste my time, you know? I understand, it's, it's better to, you know, get that stuff out in the open. So, you know, being honest is always the best. Wouldn't be anything else. This felt really good. You're a good egg, Vinny. Yeah, you're not too bad yourself, Grace. Charming. Have a good evening. You too. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Whoa, quick answer. Hey, mate, I've been on tental hooks for this debrief, man. You were just waiting in bed for me to call you, weren't you? Bro, stop deflecting, man. Details, details. So Grace, uh, yeah, she was really high achieving okay. and very intense, but I don't know, I kind of enjoyed that. Mm. Sounds pretty good. How'd you fare? Yeah, listen, I could tell she likes me, man. Oh. That's what I'm talking about. The boy is out of the traps. I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm, I... Yeah! It was good. <laughs> it was good, I think it went really well, so... Yes, man, of course it did. You're a catch. You're a catch. You're the catch. <laughs> I'm gonna get some more info. Surname? Uh, no, don't remember. Anything? She was just made partner at a big law firm. What's she doing talking to you? <laughs> I think I got her, Grace Huckle Renford, but oh, she's only listed as an associate at the law firm. Huckle Renford, yeah, okay, let me take a look. Hold on. This is her. This is her. This yeah. This is her. Yeah. <laughs> this is her. yeah. No, no, no. I'm not lying. This is her. All right. You get the lowdown on Grace. Uh, I think so. I think so. Nice. Well, just remember, mate. You've now got to tell the app which two girls that you liked, so you can ask them out on the second date. Do I? Oh, why does it work like that? I don't know. To stop girls getting strung along and catching feelings, bro. I don't know. I didn't make the app. Just, just answer. I need to think on it. Um, but listen, thank you for your help, and I'm gonna get some sleep and I'll catch you tomorrow. Yeah? No problem, bro. Have a good one, yeah? See you later. Good night. Yeah. Whoa! You're up and having lunch already, yeah? Behave. This is breakfast. What's good? I got a second date with Grace this evening. Ah, you got your A-game ready? Yeah, listen, trust me, I need it with a woman like that. <laughs> Never have I ever. That is a drinking game, yeah? Make sure you got the booze ready. Not that you'd have much to drink to on the count of you never having done anything ever. Very funny, <laughs> ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Actually, I'm on the vino tonight. Ah, a bit more sophisticated for Grace, yeah? What? Actually, it's, it's a Sauvignon Blanc, to be precise. Ooh, la la, oui, oui, ça va. <laughs> Are you going to take the piss every time I call you? Yes. I'm nervous. Bro, stop it, man. <laughs> Any word from your girl Grace since the first date? She actually sent me a little voice note over the app. Let's hear it. Oh, I don't know, man. 
don't know, man. Come on, man. Oh, why do you put me in these predicaments, Callum? Uh... How long has it been? Come on, man. All right, cool. I'm showing it, you know. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing wonderfully. Just thought I'd check in to say I'm very excited for our game day later. I'm expecting some raw, shocking truths about you, mister. Um, I hope you're enjoying this lovely weather. I've laid on the sunscreen and started working outside. See you soon. Ciao. Mmm. She can talk. Yeah, but she, she's got a lot of cool stuff to say. It's great. Of course, man. It's better than the opposite, bro. You know what? Drop me a line after, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, oi. There you are. Hey, good to see you again. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Uh, I apologise for the change of scenery. My flatmate's having a video date in the living room, so... Oh, OK, so so I've been downgraded, yeah? Unfortunately, yes, but it was her first date, so I just... I felt like she had priority. I, I look after my girls like that. Oh, do you know, I, I didn't know you had a housemate. Yeah, she's a, she's a really nice girl, but she's a little reserved, and my outspoken personality can be a, a little much for her at times. Yeah, I can understand. I don't think everyone has what it takes to handle you, so... Yeah, I can be a little bit much when I'm stressed and moaning about work, but, hey, I chose this life, so I can't complain. Mm -hmm. What about you? How's, uh, how's work been? Not bad. Um, I've just been cracking on and counting down the hours. Never have I ever. So. <laughs> uh, of course you have. Of course. Shall we get started? Yeah, I'm nervous. Don't be too nervous. OK, forfeits. Should we just down our drinks whenever we have to? Yes. Let's do this. I'll pick one for you first. OK, go read it out. OK. Never have I ever experimented with my sexual orientation. Bloody hell. Oh, why beat around the bush? So, come on. These things don't play around. Um... We need the juicy gossip. No, I haven't. Um... Yeah, sorry for being so vanilla. That's all right. Bit of a shame I wasted my first turn, but shit happens. OK, you... You didn't waste your first turn. OK, good. pick me a good one next. OK, all right, cool. I'm just getting some wine, Vinny. OK, let's see what we have here. I'm nervous. What do you... Pick something nice. Tables have turned a bit. OK, um... A nice one. I'm a lady. Please. Okay, so, so it says, never have I ever had a one night stand. Uh, Grace, you. <laughs> Chug. I'm only human. Okay, listen, we've all been there. Well, clearly you haven't because you asked the question. So is it not your style or you never had the opportunity? Yeah, I, I couldn't rule it out. And some of my friends swear by them, but for me, just. It's not your thing. Yeah. They can be fun if you're with the right person and obviously if you're safe, which I was. Which is very important, of course. Of course. OK, it's my turn again. Let me choose you a good question. OK, tell the computer to be nice, yeah? No. Uh... <sighs> Never have I ever fancied a friend's partner. Uh, I have to think about that, actually. Yeah, think very carefully, I would, before I... Yeah. OK. <laughs> Oh, gosh, this is just not good. Do you know what? I can't say it's ever happened. Could it? What, could I fancy a friend's partner? Oh. Well... Definitely not. I, it would sort of be emotional betrayal, wouldn't it? My God, yeah, that's exactly what I think. OK, good. All right, we're on the same page. I'm glad. OK, my turn. All right, let's, okay. Okay, let's see what I've got for you. OK, I'm going to go for... OK, you ready? Yeah, OK. OK, never have I ever lied about my age. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing. Now, that's bad form from a lawyer. Hey, I had my reasons, OK? 
getting into films, clubs. Uh, I lied about my age when I dated older guys. Jesus, anything else? Those kind of white lies are fine in my book and I don't do it anymore. Everything that comes out of my mouth is the truth. Oh yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd take your word for it, but... Uh, wipe that smug look off your face, please. <laughs> so, I think it's your go next. Okay, never have I ever said I love you and not meant it. Oh. <laughs> well, what are you gonna say? I've never done that, honestly. Never. Okay, that's good. They're the three most important words in the human language, right? They're, they're pretty hefty. Aren't they? Big pause here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just too important of a statement to make falsely. And it's just so not fair on the other person for you to just throw those words out there and then to not mean it. They're huge, they have gravity. They definitely do. I'm glad you're agreeing with me on this one. I think we've done all right there. Should we call it a day? Yeah, I think that's for the best. The rosé's gone straight to my head. <laughs> yeah. Completely sober over here. Good for you. So, how did the birthday party go the other day? Hmm? What are you talking about? The digital birthday party that you went to after our first date. Are you sure that was me? Oh, don't do this to me. Yes, I'm sure. It was themed. Oh, yes. Don't yes. do that. Sorry, the rosé is just it's getting to my head and a bit fuzzy. Um, yeah, the 1950s, my favourite era. It was good. It's fun. Grace, the, <laughs> did you mean the 1920s? Yes, the ni that's what I said. The 1920s. <laughs> you said 1950s. No, I didn't. The 1920s, my favourite era. So, I've got a question. Go for it. What do you think of this whole digital dating thing? See, for me, I just think it's easier and I way prefer it. OK, how so? I don't know, like first dates, for example, you get to check out the other person without wasting your time and money. Yeah. Video dates eliminate false advertising. I think I should trademark that. And you're in the comfort of your own home, which is great. So do you think it's possible to keep up the sexual tension and chemistry if you haven't seen each other for weeks or maybe even months? Oh, that's hard to tell. Uh... Mm -hmm. Is it? To be honest, I'm pretty chill about the whole situation in that respect. Some of my friends are losing their mind over it. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah, same. I think, uh, I think people are obviously getting really thirsty, but, you know, I'd wait if, I, if it was for the right connection. That's good to hear. Not something you'd expect from a 20-something-year-old. So... Shh. Oh, my flatmate's just finished a date. I better go and debrief. OK, totally. Half the fun is debriefing anyway. So. Very true. Well, listen, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm glad I got to see you again. Yeah, I really enjoyed myself. Thanks for uh, playing the game and humouring my opinions, as usual. Listen, it was, uh, yeah, it was my pleasure. I better go. Speak to you soon. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. So, how are you feeling about Grace? OK, overall, it was great. And she's intense and she speaks her mind, but I... Callum, I just love that about her. Uh, I, uh, I, that's good, but it's not like she's a straight shooter. No bullshit, bro. Yeah, oh, no, 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 it yeah. feels that way. It felt good. Oh, it feels good. It feels so good. Well, I don't doubt, I don't doubt she feels the same way, mate. You're a catch. You <laughs> gas me up, man. <laughs> no doubt it's made you soft. You are... Callum, do you actually want to date me? Oh, my God, we're talking about a date that you went on, and now you're propositioning me. Is this what, is this what it feels like to be sexy? <laughs> now you're propositioning me. <laughs> Anyway, man, get some rest, you know, get some Zs. Thank you for the support, as always. Um, and I appreciate it a lot. Yeah. I mean, like, what else is there to do? I mean, living vicariously through you is the most fun thing about lockdown. Come on, you love hearing about this. You I love all this gossip stuff that I talk to you about. I, I love it. This is good. This is what makes me live. It's great. <laughs> Thank you. I right, listen. I'm going to make a move because I'm knackered. But um, no, seriously, thank you. 
because I appreciate it. Ah, uh, man, no problem, man. Right, Love, cool. bro. I'll catch you later. Good night. Cool. It's the big dinner tonight, boy. What's on the menu, man? Have you guys coordinated? So, well, it was coordinated by Grace that we should both cook the same thing. Ah, initiative. Yeah, listen, that's her middle name, man. But she's um, she's got me cooking a spaghetti carbonara, but the, the proper Italian way. And when I say this thing is so complicated, so she better be impressed if I pull this off. Uh, mate, I've got something to tell you. Oh, uh, do you know what? We always suspected it, bro. I'm really... Seriously? What? What's, what's happened? Uh, I'm gonna share my screen. Wow. Okay. Um... <clears throat> I didn't realise it was your grace until I properly checked her profile, man. I mean, have you scheduled a date or anything? Of course not, bro. I, I just wanted to tell you, innit? I'm gonna unmatch her as soon as possible. It's fine if she's still chatting to other people, right? Because, I mean, it's still so early. I'd say so, man. And you must be top of the pile as well. <laughs> so, obviously, like, date three is something. It's nothing, man. <sighs> Bruv, if this was in real life, an in-person date, you would be having to escalate things right now. Well, listen, obviously, that's off the table because we're not in person, so how am I oh, going to escalate there's, things? There's got to be a way to do it. OK, listen, I'll play it by ear, see what her vibe is, and that's all I've got. <laughs> Unconventional. Good luck. Oh, listen, we'll chat later. Debrief, yeah? Uh, yeah, great. Give us a bell, but um, if you call later on, I might not answer. What do you mean? Why? What's going on? <laughs> Well, your boy has only gone and got himself a little video date tonight, hasn't he? Ooh. No. Ooh. Are you serious? How? What? Who? When? Where? Tell me. Tell whoa, me, tell whoa, me, tell whoa, me. whoa, 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 bro. You know I like to keep it low with these sort of things, man. Asking too many questions and that. Come on, All right, man. OK, do you know what? I won't pry anymore. <laughs> I'll let you go and enjoy this day and then call me or something and we'll debrief properly at some point, yeah? All right, then cool, bro. I'll give you a bell soon, innit? Cool, man. All right, catch you later. Good luck. Peace. Smash it. Grace, wow, you look, uh, you, you look amazing. Thank you. I have a little thing for headbands and I only wear them on special occasions, so consider yourself lucky. Oh, listen, I do. Um, have you got your carbonara there? I do. I was waiting for you to taste test it. I'm going to do it now. Ooh, it looks really good. Nice. Oh, my God, if I do say so myself, that is divine. Right, let's see yours. Let's be having it. Boom. Bloody hell, that looks like it should be in a restaurant. I'm very impressed. OK, thank you, because a lot of graft went into this, so... Does it taste as good as it looks, though? I know you said you could cook, but... Let me taste it. And I'll be honest as well. Yeah, be honest. OK. Oh, my God. Is it good? I honestly think that this is one of my best. Thank you so much for this recipe. It's so good. Of course. Any time. Oh, by the way, I um, I added some nutmeg just for a bit of depth of flavour. Of course, yeah. Of course you did. Thanks. Noted. OK, is that all good or...? All good. Just dandy. Thank you. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to have a proper dinner date post-lockdown. Yep. Some nice food, maybe some nice wine, some candles, a good movie. Some ice cream mm. or dessert, something romantic. The full works. And with who? What do you mean? Or who'd the dinner date be with? You, obviously. If you play your cards right. Smugness is eternal, by the way, just in case. Good boy. So, um. What's up? You obviously want to ask me something. Uh, yeah. Um, I guess I just wanted to know, are you... are you talking to other guys? No, I only come on this app to speak to you these days. Really? Yeah. I only like speaking to one person properly, you know? Yeah. What about you? 
I'm just talking to you as well. Good. You, uh, you match my friend, actually. Who's your friend? His name's Callum. I don't remember a Callum. I still have the app, so I swipe through it to pass the time, but it has nothing behind it. Yeah, I get that. Anything else you want to interrogate me about while we're here? No, 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 nothing. So, I have a question. If this goes somewhere, what are you, what are you like in a relationship? Uh, that's tricky for me to answer, because isn't that best judged by the other person? True. Have you heard of the four attachment styles? No, I can't say I have. OK, there are four attachment styles that define how we process love and emotion. And they are? So they're secure. That means you're comfortable and confident in a relationship and find it easy to get emotionally close. OK, and then? Anxious, preoccupied. You're nervous about love being reciprocated. You want emotional intimacy, but you never get it. Oh, OK, that sounds painful. Next. Dismissive avoidant. You're emotionally distant and not comfortable getting close to anyone. OK, and the fourth is? Fearful avoidant. Dramatic and unpredictable. You want close emotional relationships, but you don't trust or depend on anyone. OK, and so you want to know which one I am, yeah? Yep. I'm definitely secure these days, okay. but careful. Some of them are definitely more compatible than others. So shoot. OK, um, let me just think about those options. Um... Think about it long and hard. I'd probably say I'm secure. Snap. Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty level-headed in the relationships in my life right now, and I feel like I'm very available overall. OK, so theoretically, if I went on a hen-do with my girls abroad, would you, would you feel paranoid if I went MIA for periods? No, no, no. Like, I'd trust you. I mean, a, a little bit of communication would be nice, but go and have fun. I mean, that's fair enough. And... Radio silence is just unkind. Yeah, no, I don't think it's cool to just completely cut the person off because you're with other people, but, yeah. I agree. Um, so that was actually kind of a trick question. Trust you to throw me a curveball like that. Well, I think everyone can be all the attachment styles, depending on who they're with and how much they like them. And their attachment styles? I think I used to be anxious, preoccupied. How come? Just every relationship I ever had made me feel that way. I guess high expectations make you wonder if you're good enough, right? So you, what, you always felt like you had to prove yourself? Yeah, prove myself, sell myself, back myself, a whole lot. Did you ever feel like you had to oversell yourself? No, never. Sorry, I didn't realise I was opening up this much. No, no, this is great. This is the thing about digital dating. It just, it makes you open up. I don't know why. I know, because there are no real life distractions to fall back on. I, I, I have to say, I'm glad, I am glad though. You know, I feel like I've really been able to get to know you. Me too. And I'd like to continue, but I, I kind of feel like we've outgrown the dating app. Um, we should probably exchange numbers. Oi, oi. Don't hog the duvet. No, I'm actually quite good at sharing. And forgive me if I fall asleep on the call, I'm quite tired. Well, that's all right. I'm actually curious to see if you snore. Snore? No, I don't snore. You look like you could be a snore. No, I don't. How do, what do you mean I look like I could be a snore? <laughs> You've just got something about you. I... I, I bet you do snore because you're telling me I snore. You're the one that's probably in denial about it. No, I'm not. But that people do have weird habits in bed. Please don't tell me you have any weird habits. What do you mean weird habits? I don't have any weird habits in bed. I get into bed, I get in the duvet, <laughs> I just sleep. Oh, or... that's a problem. I'm very, I move a lot. I'm very, I mean, I starfish. I'm...